So it's all very complex, but they will essentially have to play with 13 men, Alan, as well. Yeah. So all very complicated. I mean, at first in here, I mean, there's general confusion. I'm sure everybody at home was wondering, first of all, if the referee Nika Amashukeli in his first ever Six Nations game had got this right. This is uh, the graphic from World Rugby. So it looks more complicated at first glance. If we look there on the left, you'll see first event. So the first event in this instance was the contact injury. That was the hooker going off injured. And then the second event, you'll see that's the top tier. So contact injury on the left, move all the way across to red card. And you'll see there, three up from the bottom on the right. The answer is yes, 13 men. So the referee, under a fair degree of pressure, I'd say his head was spinning. He has got the rule right for starters, so there, no there, mistake on that there, front. Yeah, there's yeah. not, but there's something wrong if we have to bring out like a matrix to explain <laughs> to the people what's going on. And that's of no benefit to, to the people watching at home yeah. that wanted to see a spectacle and 40,000 plus in the Aviva. Yes. You know, there is a duty for the you know, rule makers to ensure that there is a spectacle. Um, you know, and a game can take place even under the kind of unusual circumstances that, that were. But so to go down to 13 men, mm. I, I know they're, they're, they're trying to stop the unintended, unintended advantage of going to uncontested scrums. But yes. you're already you know, down a, a player in a red. It seems like an onerous... Um, so, so, th so this rule, in effect, is to stop a team who are being destroyed at the scrum faking injuries, deliberate yes. red cards. And, say, yeah. you know what, we can't continue with this scrum yeah. anymore. Our second prop has gone down injured. We have to go to uncontested scrums. So effectively what they're trying to do is say, well, if you need to go to uncontested scrums, there needs to be some punishment for you the other side. Mm. What it doesn't take into account is when it actually can't happen because there's been a legitimate reason for having to go to that. So it should really be left to the interpretation of the referee on the day if he thinks it's a fair yeah. yes. and reasonable call to Trust do the that. referee. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the guy's got a broken arm mm. and a red card. Now, this is the problem, is that the red cards... So you would go almost a, a, a hundred years and a country would have one or two red cards in international rugby. It used to be for heinous acts of foul play, punching, kicking, things like that, high, uh, really bad high tackles, coat hanger tackles, we used to call them. Now you're getting red cards regularly because they're trying to protect the players, and I understand that. I'm not arguing against mm. it. But they're trialling in the Super Rugby that if, if it's a red card for that, it's, it's a 20-minute uh, sin bin situation. In other words, that player can be replaced in 20 minutes. So the, this is where the laws are mad and World Rugby needs to hang their head in shame and our legislators need to hang their head in shame mm. because here is a situation where because of a, of a serious injury and an interpretation on the, under the new red card laws, yeah. they're penalised two men. Yeah. This has I to mean, prompt a change, outrageous. would you agree? Yeah, it does. It it's does outrageous. Have to because we can't have the, this situation again. Listen, it is an unusual set of circumstances, but it is there uh, nonetheless. And, um, you know, to go down to 30 men you know, it destroys it as a spectacle and, and just that's not acceptable. And there's going to be two coaches that are both upset and players because nobody can put a case uh, forward for selection next yeah. week based on this game anymore. Yeah, mm. yeah.